Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Neo 2. You know when Neo busts out the blood red sky, things are escalating. When was the last time we saw this? I think it was the, the Gachadokuro level at, I think, the Battle of Sekigahara in Neo 1. Ooh, and this timing lined up just perfectly. He patrols past that gap in the guardrail. Also, we got this new move. I love that so much. I love the stinger. And it's even better because, uh, oh, and we're going to get this one too as he patrols. I have to be a little bit careful because he attacks immediately and you have recovery time after you, after you land from the plunging attack. So if he wants, he can just grab you. Uh, and you have to be really quick on your, on your toes to hit, uh, either a burst, not a burst counter, um, a yokai ability or your yokai form to avoid uh, taking the grab. So I want to avoid aggroing the hand cannon yokai patrolling on the cliff area and draw this one out past the watchtower. Whoops! Don't think I should have thrown out that extra spell. Okay. Oh yeah, I was saying about the, uh, the stinger. The coolest thing about that is that you get a follow-up with either a low stance attack or a high stance swing. And then we also have the mid, uh, the mid stance switch attack now too. Or the, uh, the, the stance switch attack into medium stance. <laughs> so we can flow between our stances a little bit more fluidly while keeping the pressure up. Uh, I like the stinger move on paper. The one where you uh, you activate it by sheathing the weapon. But there is a problem with it. Uh, and it's why I don't end up using it too often. Aside from, like, swag. Because you have to hold it for a bit to activate it, and then hold it some more to charge it up. And that just doesn't feel very good to me. It is good combo potential, though. So, this level can be short, but that's because it is in. Hence, and we're only just scratching the surface of that. Uh, there are a lot of really hectic fights against big, difficult enemies, and you just have to run the gauntlet of those, so it can be kind of overwhelming. But if you execute well, it's uh, it's short and straightforward. I'm going to try to channel my clutch power here and just carve through this best I can. Uh, but this part, this part to me is the hardest of the whole mission because you're sandwiched between so many threats. Like, behind us is a gorge, so if you back up too far, you risk stepping over the cliff. In front of you are some pits, too, like where you're getting sniped from on the left and right. Uh, and then this big, multi-armed yokai, which I think this is the one generating the Dark Realm, too. Whoa! Ooh. Uh, they're... They're not that tough, though. They're just new. Uh, there was the Tango, the, the Tengu we took care of. That can aggro while you're fighting everything else. There's the giant skeleton, the two hand cannon yokai, one big, one small, up the hill. So even with Mumyo, this part's extremely sketchy. We made it, though. Uh, what are they called? Uh, Magatsu Warriors. The big four-limbed one are the four-limbed ones are uh, Magatsu warriors, and they are. I, think, I don't think we fought them before, right? They're brand new for this mission. That's yeah, nice. We clipped him. Oh no, it's not a death pit. Oh, I hate the flippy ones. <laughs> and then there's that other one with the hand cannon. Oh no, giant skeleton from earlier. I thought we had already dealt with him. Well, Jesus Christ. This is the fight that never ends. God, that's such a hectic part of this level. So I think that's the hardest part, uh, but it is not the only hard part remaining. We're gonna loop around uh, back to where that initial gorge was and the locked door. Uh, we'll open this up as a shortcut a little while from now. 
Uh, but for now, we actually did open up, uh, once we get done with all this stuff, we opened up a path to a new shrine already. Uh, so we're going to knock this down, and that's just so we can have access to uh, this, this little plateau with the pulsing Amrita crystal on it. And I think this is also where one of the hand cannon yokai was before he just dropped off the cliff to mess with us. They're a bit like the, um... They're a bit like the bells from a previous level. So, mostly just trophy fodder. They don't affect things too much. I'm pretty sure they don't affect either of the bosses. I do want to get this Kodama, though. I don't want to leave this little buddy behind. So now... Now we can take a breather. We have a little bit of a lull in the action. But that's not gonna that's not gonna last too long. <laughs> we are not gonna be able to get too comfortable. It's just gonna be a quick rest. Uh, since we destroyed the Magatsu Warrior and the Tengu. One of those was generating the Dark Realm. Pretty sure it was the Magatsu. Uh, none of the things here will respawn once we rest at the shrine. And that just leaves us a path through the valley. Also, uh, I'm not sure if we're actually going to need to activate that ladder shortcut. If things go well, we won't need it. Uh, by the way, this door, that prevents you from avoiding the fights. You have to, uh, you have to clear the Dark Realm out before that door can be opened. Oh, oh, shit. I thought I was going to break his guard before he got the attack off, so I just went for it. Getting some decent drops, too. Gonna have to check those hatchets out later. Ooh, but for now, we're sticking with this seething dragon uh, that we have on. And getting ready to fight the mid-boss of the level. It's going to put a little bit of a punctuation mark on the action for the first half of the level. Yeah, we're about seven minutes into the level and we're halfway in, so... Like I said, short but intense. Oh no, Kuroku forgot to buff my weapon. Uh, he is extremely weak to lightning. So those Raijin feathers and your uh, your thunder thunder shot thunder shot talismans really put in work here. You can see how quickly he gets debuffed with the elect uh, the electricity debuff. Hmm, my sweet side on as portrayed by Jason Momoa though. Unfortunately, we saw this coming in the beginning of the level, the cutscene that plays early on. He does not have much stamina. Woo, look at that. Before he even got to call uh, that Kame Itachi attack. Oh, I love this. You can, you can visually see when he's going to armor through your attacks. Uh, and then if you hit him enough through that, it just breaks his shell and his armor for a bit. Massive stamina damage. It's one of those things that makes Kuroku a little bit easy. Uh, it's, this is also where some of the humanoid bosses in Neo 2 can get a little bit weak, because a huge number of them are just buffed up revenants rather than like unique challenges. Kuroku does have some unique moves, plus he calls the Kame Atachis, uh, but most of his unique moves are just in the burst counters. Or the burst moves, rather. Uh, he does this, though. 
also, I don't know if we're going to see all of his burst attacks. I'm surprised he isn't used uh, the one where he, where he kind of dive kicks you with his chain. Yeah, he is not lasting through this. Poor dude. I wish Kuroku could have stuck around. Actually, the bosses for this level, for as hard as everything else tends to be here, uh, the bosses are, are very easy. Kuroku's the harder of the two, I think. And speaking of that second boss, we're... we're about to get a preview of them. I think there's a Scampus around here? That might be later on. But so far, so good. Ah, there's Momio. That's a really handy gift to have. Herbal remedies are rare, but they're extremely valuable. They're full heals plus status ailment cures. And that is our next boss. I believe his name is Daidara Bochi. Uh, we're going to come around here to these palisades. He even tanked a hit from it. That's pretty nice. Uh, I think these are destructible, so they're only going to tank one blast. Yeah! So we want to keep moving. Uh, this is going to pop a Magatsu Warrior. And he immediately burst attacks. Uh, then we will use Yatsuno Kami to break all of his weak points and take care of it really quickly while we get besieged by Daedara up there. Ooh, that went right over the top. Either that or it was the explosion that hit me. Um, I'm going to block this hit, then try to open the door, because unlike boss doors, you're not invulnerable. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was such razor-thin timing. I like that. Uh, yeah, unlike boss doors, you don't have iframes while opening uh, regular doors. We want to get off this roof ASAP. We have another pulsating crystal. I think in this corner. Yeah. Uh, you're just barely out of range of that AoE. We're doing remarkably well. Uh, we have a couple of hard parts left. But I think the worst of it is behind us. I just want to be careful. Uh going through this open field because now he's over there on the right still going to be raining down hellfire on us and then additionally there's still some skeletons and some snipers too I think they have a line of sight yup I heard that oh shit it's not too bad though oh they don't have line of sight there but they do right here that's why he's right there Okay, now I think we can freely sprint across this tree branch, but there's a Biwa player. And the Biwa player is actually uh, ahead of that that grave. So I don't know if there is another path around that lets you avoid the Biwa. Actually, I think there's a cannon somewhere in the level that you can use to kill that Biwa, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's do 
this, because I don't want to get sniped from the watchtower while fighting this revenant. We have an honorable Switchglaive duel now. Come on, friend. Oop. No. That is the high stance switch attack, I believe. Oh no, but yeah, I forgot. Revenants will try to heal. It's been a while since I fought one. <laughs> but if he's gonna be rude and dishonorable, then I'm just gonna call Yatsu no Kami my problem solver. That is the problem solving button. God, it, it feels good to have Yatsu no Kami back. I like Kasha, but the startup is so slow. That's one of the best things about Yatsu no Kami is not only the damage, the stamina damage, uh, the multi-hitting aspect of it, the crowd control aspect of it. Wow, there's a lot of good points to Yatsu no Kami. But it's also that it's nearly instant, so it feels good as an oh shit button too. If you're ever in danger, you can always let that thing rip. I can't believe after multiple nerfs, it's still so good. Oh, I'm gonna get shot. Yeah. I shouldn't have started up that quick. Oh, no! Is this gonna heal up? Oh, no, the healing isn't that fast. Uh, the crystals do regenerate a little bit of health if you go a few seconds without swinging on them. But it's not that fast. And there's a Mizuki patrolling. Holy shit, this level. And, uh, in case you forgot, the Mizuki is the boss version of that enemy. It's one of the first enemies, uh, the, the uh, the non-boss variant, Gozuki, I think, is one of the first enemies you encounter in the game. But this is straight up the boss version, Mizuki. Ooh, and I immediately did a bad job dodging that. Uh, I'm gonna back up a bit. Because that range is ridiculous, and I want to get this off. Just need him to round the corner, and we're good. Too... Oh, that was too early. Shame, that could have been really handy. Now that we have a life leech going on him, shouldn't be too bad. Mm. Oh, shit. He leashed. Where'd he go? Oh, it's going to waste the duration of this a little bit. And one of the ways you can tell this is the boss version is because it has those uh, those homing skull attacks. And also, oh no, are we gonna? Ah, uh, we're gonna miss the chance to get a grapple. It activates the dark realm, just like a boss. Hot damn! Now we got it. By the way, you don't actually need to fight Mizuki at all. You actually can just run past him. Uh, you can run past him in either direction. This one to get to the lock gate we saw earlier near the sniper skeleton at the gorge. So this one will actually lead back to the second shrine. Uh, and then going the opposite way. If you just want to skip Mizuki straight up and not even aggro him, you can just do this. Uh, now, do not fall for this boulder trap. You've seen it before. You've seen almost this exact scenario. I didn't realize the spear guy was still alive. Oh, shit, and everything was going so well. Let's not make that mistake again. Yeah, I thought something would have gone right there. Either Yatsu no Kami would have killed him, one of my swings at the Yoki would have killed him, or the boulder, ideally. Usually that's what happens. <laughs> With everything going on, I just missed him. Oh, shit. Ooh, ooh, no. No, 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 no. Hopefully he doesn't have a cannon. Usually the flippy Kasarigama ones do. 
Okay. Damn, he covers the skeleton warrior so well with all of his range. Get out of here. Please. Stop this. So rude. There we go. Now I'm not playing quite so timid. I guess I don't get control over that situation again. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping for a deathless mission, too. Skeleton warrior with a spear got me. Nothing, none of the hard parts, just that. <laughs> oh, he, wow, he died way quicker than I thought. And there's another boulder. There are so many of these boulder traps in this section. Uh, luckily, that frees us up to fight the Skeleton Warrior in this alley, now that we don't have to worry about the second boulder. And then, hey, what do you know, we round this corner, and if you're not looking, it kind of blends in a little bit, but oh shit, a third boulder! <laughs> uh, this one breaks down the wall, so you have access to another crystal if you want that trophy. We're gonna focus on the Magatsu Warrior. He's a bit dangerous and he has projectiles. Ooh, this is gonna be smooth though. Come on. Ah. Missed time that. Oh, he's getting. Shit, he's getting a lot of stamina back. I might just let it rip. Yeah. Chuck another one up to the problem solver. We can life leash this, right? Oh, that's so sick. I didn't realize you could life leech talisman. The crystals. I knew it. I knew there was a Kodama here. Come on, buddy. Go back home. All right. We are we're perilously. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Kappa. We're perilously close to the end. Uh, we just have this and oh no, it's gonna kill me. Oh. No. Uh, uh. I knew as soon as he started that up and, and was tracking me. <laughs> so I may have taken another death before I got my corpse back. So we're gonna run past that Kappa this time. It was a really dumb death too. I uh, ran straight into a, into a pit. <laughs> right from the shrine, ran forward, forgot to make that sharp right right into the gorge. And you can see how close we were to the boss! We're gonna try that again, because I made a bit of a mistake. This boss is so cool looking, though. Uh, not that bad to fight. Because this is mostly a gimmick fight. It's also a great use case for the uh, the Wheel Monk Yokai ability. Because you get a lot of hits, you get this repeating damage. And it's it hits multiple crystals at a time. And we want to leave between the lasers for that one. But for the second set of these, because the fight doesn't change between which arm you hit... I am going to show how a different yokai ability is even more broken uh, than the Wheel Monk on this fight. Are you guessing that it's Yatsu no Kami? Because it fucking is! If I get really lucky with the way Yatsu no Kami hits, it's gonna immediately one-shot this phase. <laughs> and I think that's just fun to style on him with. Look at the numbers! It wasn't quite enough to destroy all of them outright, but it destroyed half of them immediately and weakened the rest of them. Now, his health looks lower than it should be, but there is going to be another phase, so I'm not just completely skipping parts of the fight. Because, like all yokai, there has to be a yokai realm phase to the fight. 
with some new abilities. Oh, let's make sure we dodge that. Because that does do insane damage. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, good, 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 good. I was a little worried. So now we do the crystal destruction, draining the stamina one more time. Except this time we have uh, some bigger AoEs and I think a handful of new attacks here in the Dark Realm. Plus the stamina penalty. Or the stamina regeneration penalty. We haven't seen him do like two of his attacks though. At least two of them. His regular attacks. There's one where he claps. Uh that you have to back away from, and there's another where he pounds the ground that it's a it's burst counterable. But if you don't burst counter it, it creates all these shockwaves that home in on you and do ridiculous damage. Oh, and he gives us a really cool soul core. Uh, we'll see in the preview once it's purified. We're back here once again, in the interim. Saikai的何より。もうしたでしょう。この身滅びようと最後までと。よく来たの。<笑> パンベイと二人でずっと待っておった。初に新職を忘れた末、私は使徒であった。死より授かりしは未来を見通す力。死に Possessed by Hakutaku. Wow. 
私からもお伝えしたいことはありますが、奥であなたを待っているお方がいらっしゃいます。積もる話がありましょう。私からもお伝えしたい。Yeah, I hope you're ready for some real plot exposition here. あなたが倒れた後、藤吉郎は国中の霊石を奪い、その力を持って火の元を手中に収めてしまいました。あの者を止めるための手がかりは今日の平等院に向かってくれますか。かつての友の表現、さぞ驚いたことでしょう。大竹丸、藤吉郎についたあやかしの名です。破壊と暴虐を尽くし、人々を恐怖に陥れた古のあやかし。しかし、いずこかより現れた若者のあやかしを滅ぼす刀で首を落とされ、大竹丸は今日の平等院へと封印されました。ところが大竹丸の思念は赤き目の男へと姿を変え人々に取り付きうつしおで戦乱を引き起こしているのですこの世を改めて満たしいつしか斧神をよみがえらせんがため武士の力とあやかしを滅する力刀は祖母やまる。と名付けられ人々へ受け継がれていきましたしかし今やあやかしを滅する力は失われてしまいましたそう私が死の間際あなたに託した小刀それこそが砕かれた祖母や丸なのですかつて大竹丸が封印されていた平等院そこには祖母や丸の秘密も共に眠っていると聞きますその力を取り戻す手がかりをつかめるでしょう<音声>ありがとうあの者を止めることこそあなたの定めどうか気をつけて。So we finally learn of the overarching villain of the game. Otakemaru,、uh, in addition to Kashin Koji, who we've seen intermittently, the sorcerer、uh, who I believe resurrected to Kichiro. At long last, Hideyoshi was the ruler of all. Though he had reached the age of 50, his avarice showed no sign of diminishing. On the contrary, it appeared to entirely consume him. Oh, and there's that data r o u Soul Core. Ah,、oh, it's just a big sweep. You even get the full size of him, at least his head. That's cool.、Oh, and I believe that's where we are going to leave off for today. So I went back and I decided that I was actually in the mood to bang this last、uh, Switchglaive Dojo mission out real quick, since we're in the final area of the game. Uh, and that's gonna unlock the final tier of skills for my choppy boy. I figured I would show this off and just get a jump on getting into the next mission、uh, while we're here instead of ending the episode where, we, where I、uh, planned to leave it. It's just more convenient to do it this way than doing a separate intermission video just for this one mission or just not showing it at all.、Uh, and the reason why it's worth showing it on top of being the final one. Is because of who we fight during this mission. 
Hanagasaki, close to the borders of Echizen and Omi provinces, sits in a treacherous terrain of dense forests and steep mountains. To fend off the enemies pressing from the southwest, the Asakura clan established a base there, making the area much fought over. The constant battling has devastated the hills and fields, and the area has long been devoid of any human habitation. Now only the trails of animals passing through this region suggest any hint of life. So we're fighting Mumyo as a boss, and yeah, she's still essentially a beefy revenant, but because she's the Switchglaive master here, she has access to skills that we've not yet even seen. Like that. Uh, which makes her more interesting than any of the revenants we fought, including any of the Switchglaive ones. Uh, and she's a little bit of a challenge, and a preview of what's to come. A preview of what we're gonna gain access to. But she's still made of flesh and bones, so she can and will be bullied. There are very few human bosses who can hyper armor through your attacks. Usually they solve that problem by giving them good stamina regeneration and having them turtle up a bit. Uh, or they do like they did with Takichiro and one or two other bosses and just give them a parry. She has neither. Uh, she is neither, and she is no hyper armor, so just go to town. I mean, she does have a little bit of decent stamina regeneration, and she does tend to block, but it's not even that big of a deal. It's pretty easy to run her out of stamina. I was just trying to match her stance for stance for a second. <laughs> that was a little foolish. <laughs> Just trying to make it a little more interesting. Uh, if we keep the pressure up. Nope, I'm too low on stamina, too. There's the stinger. The low form version of it, I think. As long as we can make the follow up sit, we're good. Oops. Gotta be a little careful. She doesn't hit very hard, which is another problem. Makes her a bit easier than I think she should be. Because she can't effectively punish you. So that means we now have access to a bunch of new skills. All of these ones in the outer rings now. By the way, how cool is it that we're getting near the end of the game and we're still getting new moves for the Switchglaive, a weapon we, which we've used almost exclusively for like 20 hours of game now. And we still have a lot of new moves to access, actually. There's so much we haven't even gotten to invest in yet that have been available for a while. Uh, and I want to double check that there's not another Onmyo Mage, uh, like a final one, aside from the veteran mission. Okay, we could start a Mausoleum of Evil and then end there. Byoto Inn uh, is a Buddhist temple in Uji, Kyoto, built towards the end of the Heian period by then chief advisor to the Emperor Fu Fujiwara no Yurimichi. The view of the Grand Phoenix Hall reflected on the surrounding water was likened to the entrance of Amitabha's Pure Land or Paradise, meaning it was revered by the nobility and prominent clans. Few are aware of the path that leads to the hidden ancient and sacred area that lies in the innermost recesses of the temple. And I really like the, the whole color palette and aesthetic of this level. It's It couldn't be more different compared to the Hell on Earth one that we just had in the previous mission. Plus, this one has something in it that I'm extremely excited about because there's a super cool mid-boss that y'all are going to freak out over. Uh, but those reactions will have to come next time. For now, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.